Hello everyone. Today I'm going to review the ATID ATS100 rugged reader that supports barcode scanning 1D and 2D, 2D and UHF RFID. The flexible design of the ATID ATS100 allows for you to attach different types of phones. For example, I have an Android One phone here that gets regular updates for security and is a low-cost Moto X4. Fits nicely onto this uh, IP65 device that is drop tested for 1.5 meters for 24-7 operation. The battery is in the handle. You can easily remove the handle and replace it with another one. Sometimes documentation can be a little bit confusing, a little bit difficult to uh, go through, so I'm going to show you how to set this device up. The first step, step number one, make sure the device is off, that is all of the LEDs are dark. Second step, you're going to press the trigger and the power button at the same time. This will put it into the configuration mode. Now there are multiple configurations. There's a communication mode and a connection mode on this device. Two communication modes. The first one is shown there with the blinking red LED is USB communication. We're going to press this communication mode button here with the arrows on it in order to switch the mode. Green indicates Bluetooth communication mode. Red is USB, green is Bluetooth. Within the Bluetooth, there are three different types of connection modes. Um, they are the slow blinking here is Bluetooth SPP, which is used for Android. We'll press the M mode button to switch that connection mode. The fast blinking is Bluetooth BLE mode, which is used for iOS. And the last one is Bluetooth HID mode, or keyboard wedge mode, for scanning into spreadsheets or text editors or a web browser. Now I'm going to switch back to USB mode. There's two connection modes here. The blinking one is VCP mode for direct connection to Android devices, and the solid is HID mode. For this demonstration, we're going to use the VCP mode. So the last step in this configuration process is to long press this power button, and it restarts the device in the selected mode. So we're going to plug in the device and start the demo application. Next I'm going to select new device, select USB, and look for device. Right away you'll see that AT91 USB serial, that is the VCP mode. And we'll select that, say we want to use it by default, and we're ready to go, it's connected. Now when we select it there, uh, we go to the inventory application, there are some other applications that are available. We can start reading RFID tags by pulling the trigger. There's several RFID tags here in this room. We can switch to barcode mode and pull the trigger. Again, this is the ATID ATS100. If you're interested in purchasing this device, you can contact us at sdgsystems.com. We also offer custom programming services so you can port or develop 
applications with us for this solution. Thank you. Thank you.